They talk a lot. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Okay. It wasn't the harness. It wasn't necessarily the costumes, but it was the hair when I would come into the hair. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Especially the braid. Yes. I felt more powerful with that braid. You know? What I love about this movie is that your your mother isn't always just the only guide for you through your life. Like, and I don't think it's always just from your parents. Like sometimes That's a great point. you read other people's books or you watch a lot of the Oprah show and read everything mm -hmm. she recommends. And then I think there we are sort of representative of that for Meg. That's a good point, I forgot that. Her father is missing, but she has a wonderful relationship with her mother. Mm -hmm. She loves her mother. And yet she still has room for more maternal energy for the, the three of us and there's three more. I never met my grandparents, so um, so I think that would be really special to, to, to go back, not so many years, but, but a, a, a chance to meet them. I would test her to the past. Mm -hmm. um, I, the, the pyramids came into my mind with the pharaohs and the Egyptians, and I want to see what's going on there. I, I would go to the past as well. I think I would go to the civil rights movement. Ooh. And I, I don't, I think people would be like, well, why would you want to do that? But I feel like, I would go as myself with the knowledge I have now and just see how I would like deal with the stuff that was going Ooh, on and the challenges one. and come back and try to figure out how good I could one. change that. Mm, mine would definitely be on Instagram because <laughs> she's the youngest and she's um, always trying to sort of communicate and she's real opinionated. I think Mrs. Who would be on Twitter and there would be quotations. Daily quotations. Yeah. Uh, mine would be on Insta stories, and there would be, you know, just sort of following me through my day, going through the cosmos, <laughs> um, healing people, spreading joy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> healing Hello. people, spreading Heal joy. Healing people, spreading joy. Here, click. Fifteen seconds. You got that? And healing people, spreading <laughs> mm -hmm. joy. Fifteen seconds. Got that? <laughs> oh. Does she even have an Instagram? No, but yeah. if she did. If she did, maybe selfies of her and Charles Wallace with her like a whole bunch of books or something. It would be like real nerdy, which is fine, but it would be real nerdy. Oh, I'd like to ask her about her childhood, I think. I'd love to know if she is Meg, you know, if that's sort of a set, like an autobiographical, um, you know, how she sees herself. Um, yeah, I'd be fascinated to know about, about how she grew up. I would tell her that she did probably a greater thing that she even knows. This book has been, she knew that it was translated into many languages and went all around the world, but I don't know if in 2018 she ever envisioned that um, that uh, Mrs. Witch would be uh, played by someone like Oprah Winfrey, that Oprah Winfrey would even be in the world when she wrote it in 1963, that there would be a woman that's done what she's done, um, that there would be a woman like Reese, like Mindy, that there would be a girl like Storm to play Meg. I believe, and from what I've heard from her family members and her, and people who knew her that she would be really bolstered by the fact that there was a girl of color playing Meg. Um, so that tickles me and uh, I hope she'd be proud. Even though it is changed in the movie, we still, I feel like we stayed true to the book. Mm -hmm. So just thank you for making a book that has so many beautiful messages and has so many empowering things in it that inspires me and, and will hopefully inspire the people watching. Yeah.